What's up guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to jailbreak the 3.1 firmware. I uh, very much simplified it for you uh, by going ahead creating all the firmwares and everything for you uh, and made download links over in the sidebar. So before we even start, I want to go through and let you know 100% that you know what device you have and if this video will cover it. So, the iPhone first generation. This video is going to show you how to unlock or jailbreak it or jailbreak and unlock it. This is the iPhone first generation, that's the one with the silver back. If you've got this one, you can unlock or jailbreak this one with this video. Mac, PC, doesn't matter. The iPod Touch first generation. This does not cover the iPod Touch second generation or third generation. How do you know if you've got a second generation or a first generation or a third generation iPod Touch? If you have a volume rocker over on the side of your iPod, you have either a second generation or a third generation. You're going to need to wait for a newer video on that one because the jailbreak isn't released for that one yet. So, first generation iPod jailbreak. And then, the iPhone 3G jailbreak. I'm actually holding the 3GS, I don't have a 3G. But this video will only cover the jailbreak of the iPhone 3G. So, this is not an unlock of the iPhone 3G or a jailbreak or unlock of the iPhone 3GS. You got it? Only jailbreak of the 3G. So there you go. There's the three devices that we got in this video. So as I said, I've simplified it for you. I have four firmware links over in the description. Uh, what you're going to need to do for those is make sure you're downloading the correct one for your device and what you want. If you have the iPhone first generation, I will have two different firmwares for this one. One will be jailbroken and one will be jailbroken and unlocked. So make sure you download the one that's correct for your device. And then I will have a iPhone 3G firmware and then the iPod Touch first generation firmware. So make sure you have the right device. You don't want to mess your freaking $200 or more iPhone or iPod up. So follow these instructions, you'll be good to go. So download that, save it to your desktop so it's easy to locate, and let's go ahead and get started into this. So what we're going to do to start off is we're going to put our iPhone or iPod into DFU mode. I'll show you how to do that now. <clears throat> so what we're going to do... So here's what you need to have. You need to have iTunes open and you're going to have to put your iPod or iPhone into DFU mode. Doesn't matter what firmware it's on. I don't think I mentioned that. Uh, you can be on any firmware or anything just to go along with this video uh, if it fits your device. So here's how to go into DFU mode. I'm actually going to use Ponage Tool. You don't actually need to use Ponage Tool. I just do just as I do, but imagine Ponage Tool uh, is there, but it's actually not. So plug up your device and you're going to have to turn it off. But go ahead and turn your device off and let that do it. And right after it's done, we're going to have to put it into DFU mode. So here we go. In five seconds, we're going to hold the home and power button, both of them. There we go. We're holding both of them. We're going to hold that for 10 seconds. And then we're going to release the power button and keep holding the home button. Okay, there we go. And we're only holding the home button. And that will put us right into DFU mode. So turn your device off. Hold the home and power button for 10 seconds. Release the power button and keep holding the home button for about 10 more seconds. So there we go. You are now into DFU mode. Now we are back in iTunes. If it's not showing up your iPhone or iPod, simply plug it up, unplug it, and plug it back up. And it will read it. So there we go. It will say it's in restore mode. Just hit OK. And what you're going to need to do, uh, if you're on Mac, you need to hold the Option key. And if you're on Windows, you're going to need to hold the Shift key. So hold down the Shift or Option key and you're going to click the restore button and you should get this window that pops up and what you're going to do is select the firmware that you had downloaded a minute ago uh, I should say blah 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 iPhone or iPod 1.1 3.1 or 3.1.1 and then custom restore so just go ahead and hit that and it should be an IPSW file and what you're going to do is just let it finish uh, doing its thing and your screen should be black when you're in DFU mode if anything went wrong with that try it again you can always do it again and uh, I will come back when this is done jailbreaking. And there we go. It is saying that our phone is rebooting. And we now have the pineapple. So there we go. If you have the iPhone first generation, it will have to go through these steps to uh, unlock the phone. Um, if you are doing that, don't worry about it. Just let it do its thing. And then there it goes. It's done with that. And it will reboot. And you should have an unlocked first generation iPhone. So there we go. We are now jailbroken and unlocked. It gives you Cydia and Icy. And uh, you can see my fingerprints all over the thing. I don't use this much. Uh, but we do have Cydia. And there you go. That is basically how to do it. That was that simple. 
if this video did not cover the jailbreak for the device that you have, uh, make sure you subscribe to my videos to see when new ones are released because I will be covering every device, every firmware uh, jailbreak for it. So make sure you stay tuned and I'll have a video out as soon as the dev team gets it ready. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. If it helps you out, if it worked for you, please, for me, for me, rate five stars, favorite, and leave me a comment. And of course, subscribe if you aren't subscribed already. I'd very much appreciate that. And that's about it. Enjoy your jailbroken 3.1 iPhone or iPod Touch.